Stampin' Friends. Today I have a faux gatefold to show you. It uses the Needlepoint Nook Designer Series paper and Sweet because it has, it also uses the Needle and Thread stamp set and the Needlepoint Elements Framelits dies. I used a Get Well uh, stamp that I liked from another set, but this has a lot of great sentiments, including a Get Well. Um, I wanted to show you that um, you can do the faux gatefold several different ways. Um, one way, the typical way that I like to do it is just leave the inside unembellished. You can turn it vertically or you can turn it horizontally to make a cute card. And you can also put your designer series paper on both sides and make it actually look like a gatefold card. Wanted to give you a quick how-to on this. You wanna just score it two and an eighth, an eighth inches and four and a quarter inches. And that is a really simple fold. And then of course you cut your piece of designer series paper, one and seven eighths by five and three, five and one quarter. And I wanted to show you also, I think, you know, this is a little bit delicate, but it's pretty, and so you may prefer it like that, but you could also put it on a stitched oval. Gives it a little more pop. So I kind of like it like that. Um, I also wanted to show you what this stamp set does. I mean, what this <laughs> framelit set does. It um, makes some faux stitching around the edge of your sentiment or whatever you're punching out. And then you can use this punch, the pretty label punch in the catalog, to punch out what you've done with the big shot. So you end up, when you combine it with the punch, with a great little label with stitching so that it makes things match. It matches these stitching on this uh, really pretty, I don't know if anyone can even see that, but a really pretty faux quilting that they've done inside this card. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you do some stamping today.